Hi everyone and welcome back. So we are going to talk about another example. So we have already done this example in React Redux and the same example we are going to do with the Redux Toolkit. Okay. This example, this was my first video of this playlist which is talking about fetching the post, post by ID and fetching the comments for a particular post. Now the same example we are going to do with the Redux Toolkit, okay? This, this uh, we have written, we have written actions and reducers separately. Now we are going to create slices for them and we are going to integrate the same example. Okay, so this is our example. Uh, let's increase the font size so that uh, visibility is good. Okay. So these are the component pages. This is our app component. Okay, and this is our index.cs. Now we need to create a slices. Here we are configuring the store and we have to combine all the reducers, all the logic we are going to write inside the slices. So we'll create source and here we'll create slices. And inside slices, we will do everything. So let's say, our index.js where we are going to combine I mean this is optional so in some examples you will see the combined reducer it's optional you can actually do is you can do the mapping of all the reducers okay like okay I'm fetching the post so it can go to post reducer okay I'm fetching the comment so it can go to comment reducer or you can create a root reducer and you can pass it here like this so you can using of combined reducer is totally optional so what I'm going to do is inside index.js I can use const root reducer and I'm going to have the same three kind of reducers right post post list and uh, comments and here I will provide the mapping what I need to do is posts Combined reducer is just a utility which combines the reducers and represents a single state object tree. So I'm going to have a post reducer. Soon, similarly, I will create post comments and single post reducer. So this is post. This is posts. This is comments. And this is also a comments reducer. Okay, and we will do is export default root reducer. And now we will create all these reducer from the different slice. So we are already inside a slice. Let's say we will create a first slice as post.js. Another can be posts.js. And the third one will be single comment sorry comments.js from there we will uh, return the we will export default the reducers we will combine them here and root reducer we are exporting that we are importing here and then passing to the configure store passing the store inside a provider this is the the full cycle okay let's talk about all the posts here we we already have done this it's just like we are migrating the same example to the redux toolkit okay import create slice from from redux toolkit so we are importing create slice and then we can say const post slice equal to create slice and pass the object here the name is posts and what is the initial state initial state is this object inside this object we have the same set of properties okay the loading has error or the posts and here we are calling we are defining all the actions producer actions like get posts so you have initial state i mean you can write a simple function also and we will just make the loading true and then another is get post success
and when it is success we will get two things get post success we will get payload and the state i mean uh, we, we are going to get the payload inside actions so i will destructure that we are getting the payload and here i will just simply do is i will say is i will update the state properties state dot loading will become false state dot has error will become uh, false let's say and state dot posts will become the payload we'll just assign the payload to this and if there is a failure get posts failure then in that case we are not going to receive the payload we'll just set error true loading false and payload is not there so we'll reset it to empty array okay now you can we can get all the actions out of it so we are exporting all the actions from post slice.actions okay and we are also exporting the reducer i mean you can uh, ex export const post reducer and here we are actually accessing a particular state dot posts okay export default post reducer post slice dot reducer this is what we are exporting okay this was not reducer it was post slice that we will create later sorry for that so here we are exporting actions and reducer same as the earlier examples and here finally our async call fetch async posts okay and what we are going to do the same logic return async dispatch and here the same kind of logic if this is success if this is error dispatch get posts right get posts and then if you got the data response.json assign that to the success or you got the failure right now same kind of logic we can apply to the post if the only difference is posts will become post single post because we are talking about single post here and s will become single post okay command c command b and here we are going to fetch the post of a particular id so the only difference here is we are going to pass the id of a particular post for which we are going to i mean it's like a fetch post by id a single post and here it will become dynamic expression we'll pass dollar and the post id and rest all will be the same get post success get post failure it will be the post slice so we'll just export the reducer and post slice okay same thing goes for the comments for comments also we can do the same thing okay so it's like the same structure so i'm not going to repeat what is written here it's like get comments for that particular post id okay and here we are combining all the reducers so we can import all of these from the comments posts and from posts yes we imported all of these exporting them this is it so the same example we have migrated through with the help of slices okay fetch async post here also we can make it fetch async comments 
and let's see what we are importing we just need to change those things inside the pages dashboard page is fine single page so here the action we have changed h async fetch async posts to fetch all the posts on the page landing page then it's a router it will go to the single post page where we are fetching the post by id fetch async comment fetch async post okay in the use effect hook make the api call okay it's a fetch async comment first for that post id and fetch async po uh, post for that post id we got the data and we are setting it and here we are using use selector and use dispatch you can see with the help of use selector we are getting all the required data let's say the post preloading uh, the, the single post data and using dispatch we are dispatching the fetch comments fetch particular post right so this is how it is working we have migrated the same example with the help of simple redux toolkit i am not interested in writing the components these are the same components which we have written earlier it's all about how you can migrate the same example just by creating the slices we are not having actions we are not having the reducer separately and the store it's all about the slices which combines all these things together right all the this is the initial state and these are the slices i mean these are the reducers actions we are exporting all the reducer actions from here and the reducer itself okay that's it guys uh, thanks everyone